Hey guys, welcome to oddsmarket.com. I'm Natalie Rydstrom. Um, Alex is on the line from neatfortips.com. He's going to give us our value bets uh, headed in. Well, it's not quite the weekend. It's the match that sort of start uh, Boxing Day, Monday 26th. And then we've got one on Tuesday, one on Wednesday. Uh, but he's here today to give us what he thinks is the best value bet. Alex, thanks for being here. Hi, Natalie. Now, uh, so it's quite exciting. I do love the uh, Boxing Day fixtures, I have to say. And we've got some good matches. Uh, which ones are you looking at? How many of you have you found? Uh, a lot of them were. Uh, all <laughs> of them actually have a value. You know, you know me. I like to pick uh, something from every game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But most of all, uh, most of all, I'm looking at three: uh, Chelsea versus Burma. Yeah. Uh, uh, Chelsea with a uh, really good uh, going. You know, uh, eleven uh, uh, games in a row, um, victories. Uh, they are in the first place. I think that they will win this match without any problem, but I don't think that uh, represents any value Chelsea to win. So my bet is under three goals Asian handicap at 1.75. Yeah. Interestingly, though, if you look at Chelsea's last three matches, they've all been won by a single goal to nil, uh, obviously to Chelsea. Um, quite interesting. So I think one of those teams was Sunderland. You know, it's kind of matches where you would maybe expect more goals. Uh, so I like that bet. I'm also looking at Chelsea to win to nil, uh, 2.4. Maybe a small stake as well on Chelsea, minus one. Uh, you get that 1.65 because obviously if they do just win by that single goal, you get your money back. But I tell you where there is value with Chelsea right now um, is Chelsea to win the Premier League, uh, 1.8. I think that's not bad at all considering they've already got like a six-point lead over Man City uh, in second place. Would you play that bet, Chelsea, to win the Premier League right now? Uh, I would wait uh, three, four rounds more to see exactly how they are staying because now they are missing uh, Diego Costa and uh, Kante, <laughs> two representative players for them. So uh, 1.8 at six points difference doesn't represent a huge value. But I'm waiting uh, another three, four rounds. To yeah, see well, exactly. three, four rounds, that price will drop, I have to say. All right, moving on, next match. Cool City versus uh, Manchester City. Manchester City forced to win this match. Uh, I think that this is a perfect opportunity for them when they are traveling to Cool City. A match without any problem, I think that uh, for City, they can easily cover the minus 1.5 Asian handicap mm -hmm. and the price is 1.96. Yeah. I'm also looking both teams to score in this match. Um, <clears throat> Man City, actually, one of the very few teams that are better on the road. I think they've got six road wins compared to five home wins. Um, I'm sort of looking at both teams to score in this match, 1.91. Uh, possibly Man City and the over 2.5 goals, uh, 1.8. Because uh, I think they can also cover those uh, 2.5 goals by themselves. Yeah, uh, that one I like it. Uh, the one with both teams to score, I don't like it. Uh, giving the fact that Hull City... Is really serious, have really serious problems in the squad, missing players, injuries. So I'm not confident for that. All right, but you're going for the uh, Man City minus uh, 1.5. What else? You said th three matches, so your third and final one, what is it? Liverpool versus Stoke. Uh, Liverpool with a great morale after uh, winning the Merseyside uh, derby with Everton after 94 minutes. Uh, Stoke City will visit them. Liverpool, I don't think that. Uh, uh, will have a big problem in winning this game. And I think that they will enter uh, stronger from the start of the match and win from halftime. So Liverpool to win halftime full-time, 1.83 with Paddy Power. OK, nice. Yeah, Liverpool, top goal scorers uh, in the Premier League, 41 goals. And they're sc scoring both home and away. Uh, I was looking at the over three goals. Uh, that's where the value starts to get going. Uh, you can get that there, 1.8. Uh, last meeting at Anfield um, ended 4-1. Uh, I'm um, not sure if we're going to see as many as goals as that, but uh, yeah, looking at the over three, should I should I play that? Would you play Liverpool minus 1.5, uh, which comes in at 1.85, at 1.84? Uh, yeah, minus 1.5 I would play. Uh, over three Asian handicap I'm not playing because I'm not sure if Stoke City will uh, score or not. And I don't think that Liverpool will push to score four goals in a match. We I thought that also with Everton we will assist at the over 2.5 and he didn't. Yeah. All right, great stuff. That's Alex. Uh, head on over at oddsmarket.com. Uh, he's actually written an article for us. Uh, maybe there's some more uh, sneaky tips there, value tips, uh, headed into the Christmas uh, matches. So uh, make sure to go and check that out. Alex, thanks for joining us and Merry Christmas. Thank you, Natalie. Merry Christmas.